Terry Young. I'm the principal of Talbot Community School. Hi, I'm Kristen Rogers. I'm the community school coordinator for Talbot Community School. Which is pre-K to fifth grade. Um, and we have about, oh, we have 370 students currently. At Talbot, we were pretty ideally suited to be a community school because we had a lot of the um, kind of infrastructure that, that a lot of community schools have already existing. So there is a branch of the Portland Public Library that exists in our building. Um, we have a dental clinic here. We have a public pool. Uh, playground, so we have we're pretty centrally located to our families, so it's kind of a natural place to be a hub for the community. The, the population of students and families we serve, high poverty rates, don't necessarily have access to things that they need. P putting everything here, pulling everything in in one place, would help you know pull down barriers. In a traditional school, a lot of times parents, families see it as you teaching my child to read, to do math, to, you know. A lot of the enrichment opportunities happen outside of school. In a middle class, upper middle class school, you have students that get a lot of enrichment opportunities because their parents can afford it. They can drive them to soccer practice, they can take them to basketball, they can take them to the library where you're working with a higher needs population, students don't have the same access. The difference is you're bringing access to the children, to the families, into the school. We offer a lot of after school programs that, that are a balance of promoting academics and promoting the whole student, the development of what things that are fun, things that make kids want to come to school and engage and, and feel part of school and feel like they belong. Tutoring, we have yoga, Center for Grieving Children, choir, um, building community with families. We have uh, community dinners. One community school strategy that we use around reducing chronic absenteeism is our walking school bus program. We have a staff member as well as some community volunteers from that area that go door to door in the morning for students who would benefit from support for their attendance um, or whose families could benefit from the support in getting kids to the bus stop. And it's both the kind of transportation piece as well as the mentorship of building that relationship with trusted adults in the community. And looking at student success data or looking at attendance data um, we're also looking at student surveys, what they're saying, how they're feeling. Um, we're talking to our staff and looking at, you know, staff and student climate data. We're looking at how many kids are participating in things and, and what kind of duration they're getting. I hope that we'll continue to build momentum. I see the role as really being kind of a connector, like you're the person who's helping to connect different people to each other, to connect resources to folks who need those resources, to see a need in the school or in a family or in the community and try to connect someone who's already doing that kind of work. Both the like big picture kind of visioning or dreamy, what do we want for our kids and families, as well as the like nitty gritty everyday detail stuff of figuring out the logistics of how to make those things work. Yeah. We have started to get to a place where students and families and staff and community partners approach us. They start to recognize that we're a community school. Students see me and they're like, why don't we have a this club? Or like, could we do this thing? Families are coming and saying, you know, we're looking for childcare or we're looking for this or my kid's interested in doing this. Do you know of anything? So to me, that indicates that we're moving in the right direction, that folks know that they can come and that that people feel comfortable um, coming and asking to, to be part of what we're doing. When I see Talbot compared to other schools I've worked in, I feel like families see us as a resource and they see us as a partner.